video, I want to introduce a service that primary care are introducing for the benefit of NHS Wales and in particular to support GP practices to meet their obligations to patients in the future. This is the Medical Record Store and Scan on Demand service from NHS Wales Shared Services Partnerships. Why? Well, it supports the sustainability agenda, creates vital space inside all two congested practice premises, allowing more services to be delivered to patients locally and closer to home. Finally, taking an holistic approach, it can reduce the burden on health board estates costs by creating rather than building extra capacity. The idea was born in 2015, where primary care services introduced the concept of storing live GP practice patient paper records at its warehouse in Mamaylad. At that point, the facility provided storage of death records of the Welsh population, males for a 10 year retention and 25 years for females. Running the pilot of three practices based in Newport, Mystig and Shotton, we transferred the paper records into the store at Mamaylad. We learned a lot from the pilots and especially working closely with the GP practices to ensure the indexing and delivery of their records were successful. By the end of 2015-2016, a business case was developed and approved by Shared Services to expand our storage for the receipt of up to 40 GP practices with an average list size of 6,600 patients. We created a priority programme and invited all health boards to participate. Whilst participation varied across Wales, in the autumn of 2016, an Ira Bevan University Health Board requested that primary care services undertake a programme to transfer all their GP patient paper records into the store and scan on demand function. And that was to be achieved during early 2018 for 80 GP practices. Therefore, a further business case was developed and with the aid of the Health Board Capital to purchase Roller Racking, the intake of the Niger and Bevan Health Board practice records commenced and is currently ongoing. In the background, the priority programme continues, with Health Boards across the Principality having an increased interest in this programme. So what does the service have to offer? Early dialogue with the practice and support in the preparation stage. Transport to the stores in Mamaila. Secure storage facilities. Requests for patient records where patients change their GP practice and a one hour scan on demand service where a record is digitised and placed on a secure portal for access by the practice. Going forward, the current estate will by the middle of 2018 have over 25% of the Welsh population's paper records stored at Marmylad. A business case is already in preparation to increase our storage footmap where around 80% of practices could be stored. Whilst revenue costs are relatively cheap, it is the capital outlay that continues to be the challenge, but this isn't insurmountable. It is also worth acknowledging that many areas of shared services contribute to the PMR service, including health courier services and specialist estate services. My name is Sam Johnston and I'm an archivist, primary care services. To get a GP practice on board with the PMR service, firstly we need to talk about timescales for the practice, for them transferring their records into the archive. Secondly, we need to provide the practice with all the relevant information for them to undertake the cataloging, exercise their records prior to transfer. We also need to provide the practice with archive boxes and PMR labels and also need to talk about transport arrangements for their medical records from the practice to the archive. The engagement process is whereby I visit the practice to see what resources they have um, and constraints they're up against to put forward a plan um, to which we can transfer their medical records as efficiently as possible from the practice to the archive in Mamaila Polypool. The verification process takes place post-transfer of the practice's medical records to the archive. It's an exercise to which we compare the original patient list to all the medical records we receive to date. From this then we can investigate all the medical records which are unaccounted for. I'm Andy Williams, I'm the Practice Business Manager 
at Oakfield Street Surgery in Astridmanach. We currently have about 14,000 patients. We first found out about the service through an email. We looked into it, thought it was a great idea, uh, though we did have some concerns at first, but since we've actually moved the records off site, uh, it's provided some major advantages to the surgery. By moving our patient records off site, it has created an awful lot of space for us. 14,000 patient records does take up a lot of space. So by freeing up that space, we've been able to repurpose it for other means, um, including providing two new clinical rooms, additional administrative space, and um, making a doctor's lounge. I would definitely recommend that other practices take part in, in this service. Um, it's provided a number of benefits to the surgery. Um, it's provided additional security for our patient records, which we couldn't provide on site. Um, and despite our initial concerns about being able to access the data quickly, um, the, the transfer records between us and shared services has been great. Therefore, in summary, the service is proven and the feedback from GP practices has been very positive. Our primary care services have developed a solution on a once for Wales basis that supports sustainability in primary care, creating the environment to enable GP practices to deliver a part of the NHS Wales primary care plan.